Hi, my name is Corinne Wilburn with Backshed Treasures and I was asked by someone at your church to do a class on, we're gonna do this here. It's a little rag denim garland. Um, can be used for uh, several different things. I will show you a couple options we can do. Um, first of all, we're gonna open up in prayer. We just ask, uh, Lord, that you watch over us, Lord, be with our, our president and our vice president, our world leaders, Lord. We just ask that you continue to give them godly wisdom on how to handle this situation. And we just ask that you um, continue to guide us as we are, are going through this with everybody else, Lord. And we are all in this together. So just help us to come together um, as families, as friends, as one nation, as a world, Lord. We just ask that you uh, continue to help us to gather together, Lord, and uh, to, to worship you, Lord. And we just ask that you... Continue to be with those on the front line, Lord. We, our doctors, our nurses, uh, paramedics, um, firemen, policemen, uh, even those that are working in stores, Lord, the grocery stores, the drug stores, um, and some of the home improvement stores and stuff like that that are still open. We just ask that you continue to pr uh, protect all these people, Lord, from this virus, Lord, because they're they're trying to put others first, and. Um, they're putting themselves in, in harm's way to, to get products out to other people or um, to help cure other people, being the doctors and the nurses and stuff. We just ask that you continue to uh, just guard them and guard their hearts and just help everyone to draw closer to you during this time, Lord. We just pray this in your Son, Jesus Christ, most holy and precious name. Amen. Okay, my Bible verse for this one. It says, Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks, and that's First Thessalonians um, five sixteen through eighteen. It's one I also have in my breakfast, uh, my bracelet. Um, another one of my favorite verses. Every time I look at my bracelet, or I think of somebody, I pray all the time. Um, it's kind of fun. As soon as somebody comes into your mind, just say a quick prayer for them. It doesn't have to be fancy. Um, just thank you for my friend. Thank you um, for a family member. You know, whoever comes to your mind, just say a little quick prayer. If they're not feeling good. Please help so-and-so feel better. Um, just a quick quick thing you can do any time of the day. You don't have to sit down and uh, set a time to worship. You can pray any time you want. And um, be joyful always. Even though we're not in the greatest situation, try to think of happy things. Count your blessings. Um, you know, and just try to think of the happier things that are going on. Um, you're getting closer with your family. You're having uh, some fun probably. I don't know. We do game night. <laughs> game nights are always fun. Um, set up a movie night. That's also a really fun thing to do. Uh, anyways, but this is my, my Bible verse for today. And I will tie it into this too. Literally tie it into this. So I will put this up here. Okay. Again, this is our project. It is a denim garland. There are paper... Or, uh, Close pins in it, so you'll need to get those. I suppose I should get you your list first. Okay, this is your list. You're gonna need some string. Um, doesn't have to be any kind of fancy string. If you have something that came out of the hood of a sweatshirt, that will work. Um, just make sure your close pins fit on, because you're gonna have to go through there. That one's a little tight, but it'll fit. Um, just trying to show you an easier one. I guess they're all kind of tight, but they'll fit through. There you go. Just make sure that the clothespins fit over the top. I am using, it's um, natural jute. That's the string I'm using and it is kind of a thinner one. I suppose it's about an eighth of an inch thick maybe. So that's what I'm going to use. But you can use any kind of string that you want. Uh, the thinner the string, the thinner the thing's going to be. So don't use like a thread. Um, thread probably wouldn't work. Fish line would be a little hard. I mean, it would stand up to it, but it's going to be harder to keep it straight. Um, anyway, so uh, two to four foot feet piece of string, depending upon how long you want this. An old pair of jeans. You're just going to need one leg. I took and cut the leg off of a pair of jeans my daughter gave me that were starting to go bad. Um, so I have that. So you're gonna have some denim because we're gonna use those later. Um, or old fat and old fabric pieces of ribbon. I am using ribbon. 
you can use old fabric, you can use fleece, anything you can cut into a one by six inch slice. Um, so you're gonna need a few pieces of that. That's just to kind of mark where your clothespins are at. And then depending upon your length, I'm using this, I'm using about three feet of string, I'm using five clothespins. So, um, um, and like I said, you can use shirts, you can use rags, you can use material, um, anything you can cut into a one by six strip. And I will show you how to do that too. Um, I'm gonna show you, basically, you can use it for hanging pictures, um, or like I have here, I have postcards on this one. You can take those off. Um, you can hang jean pockets from it. So if you're a girl doing this, you can take some of the fancier jean pockets and put them on. Um, store makeup in them, your brushes, you know, maybe your mascaras and stuff, pens and pencils, you could do any of those on there. And the nice thing about this is you don't have to keep it this way, you can also store it straight up and down, and then you can kind of switch your pieces around. So if you want one on that side, one on this side, and do five different pockets, just to organize stuff, like by a desk or something like that. Okay, for the guys, we have an option for you too. You do not have to make the bows. <laughs> um, you can if you want, but you don't have to. You can just use a different color material and just do a regular, just like a plain tie, like we're gonna do. It's a great way to hang your hats. Just keep them up and out of the way. And again, you can put several of them on there. I have five different clothespins, so technically you could go one on this side, one on that side, one on this side, one on that side, one on this side. You could probably get five of them on this one. Nice creative way to hang your hats. Um, I'm gonna take off the hats and just leave it plain so I can kind of show you different things on that one. Okay, put those off to the side. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our denim leg. You can either use a rotary scissors or regular scissors. Doesn't matter. Either one will work. Um, I'm going to use my rotary scissors. You're going to take and cut this part, the hem part, off of the pants because you don't want that on there. It's kind of hard to tie. And this is why I like using the rotary scissors. It goes really fast. Another option is if you have a template, because we're doing these one by six, you can lay this on top. If you don't, just guesstimate. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, one by six is just the easiest to tie around a string. You've got a little bit of room. And then you're gonna basically just cut one inch strips. I'm gonna cut a bunch of them. It takes quite a few pieces to do one of these garlands. And again, you can do this with a scissors. You can ballpark it. They don't exactly have to be an inch. Just kind of close. So you want them to be about that thick. And then what we're going to do with your scissors you're gonna cut them so you have a long strip like this. And then you need a ruler. Or you can kind of guesstimate it. Uh, I'm trying to see where my six inches would be about that long. So on my hand, it goes to about the middle of my palm. I have big hands. Um, but just a piece about that big. You're gonna cut it. And it doesn't matter, this one doesn't matter if you have the seam in between but you're gonna cut a few of them. And again, it doesn't have to be exactly six. It can be right around six, seven inches. It doesn't make a huge difference. But you're gonna do that with all your pieces. And then 
I kind of throw my little pieces off to the side and I stack my bigger pieces up there. And we're gonna need, like I said, quite a bit of these. This one, I'm just gonna cut off that little piece since it's right at the end. Oh, this works out really good too. Cut the total piece out of it so you can have, if your seams line up, you can have it that way so that there, there are no seams on it. Again, six inches. We're just kind of guessing. This does take a little bit of time. Okay, anyways, but I'll put those off to the side since I'm just gonna kind of show you and I don't wanna take up a ton of time just cutting everything. Um, you can also use two, two different colors of denim, which kind of gives it a neat look too. Again, you cut off the seam on the bottom. And I think these were off, well, they might have been off my daughter's jeans, but a little bit different on the bottom. You might not get as many out of this. And again, I'm gonna do, well actually, this time I'll do it with just a scissors. You don't have to be exactly perfect at an inch. You're just gonna guess. hard going through the seam but it is I think I'll do with I'll do one more just make sure you have a thick uh, sharper scissors okay we'll just fold that one up so I have a few of these again you're gonna just take and cut Hear a dog in the background. I have a dog, and there's a dog walking past the window. So he's kind of going ballistic right now. So you might hear some dog noises in the background. Okay, got a couple out of that one. You're okay, Arrow. <laughs> These are pretty much 12 inches long if I cut off that little piece. And then just cut in the middle. Okay, so I have a little stack of my different pieces here. I also took my ribbon and cut it into six inch pieces. Um, I just basically pulled it out, eyeball it again. You don't have to be perfect. You can use any kind. I, I will tell you this, if you're using one that has the wire in the side of it, you might wanna pull out the wire. It gets a little pokey otherwise. Um, but you can use any kind of ribbon, any colors. I mean, we have some that have starfish. I have uh, like a bandana print. You can use a camel print if it's for a guy or something like that. Use camel or bright orange. Um, you don't even have to use them. I mean, if you wanna just use the denim, you can just use the denim too. I just do this because then I know where my clothespins are. Um, that's my thing there. Um, for making the bows, you'll need about, I've got about 34 inches, but right around a yard of fabric to make the bows. And they're kind of easy and kind of fun. You will be putting one on each side if you're doing a bow on it, there's one on each side of it. Then basically you're gonna just make a loop, make another loop, come back under. Oops, I gotta go a little bit further here. 
Okay, start it so that it's got a little bit there. Loop, loop, come around the back, and then over the top. And this will give you a cute little bow. Then what I'm gonna do is a little piece of that string that I have, I cut a couple smaller pieces. You're gonna scrunch the middle so it looks like that. We can even out these later. Wrap it around twice. I don't know if you can see. I wrapped the little thing around there twice. And then you're gonna take and knot it and pull it as tight as you possibly can. And then make another knot on it. And that'll hold your little bow in place. So you get a cute little bow. You're gonna leave these on it. We'll use those at the end of the project. And then if you want to, you can just take and even out your little bottom parts and you have a cute little bow that's gonna go on one side. So I'll do it one more time. Okay, we have a loop. We're gonna make another loop because you're gonna need two of these. So come underneath, over the top to get this kind of a look. You're gonna take and scrunch it in the middle and again, um, I have some scrap pieces that I'm using. Go around twice, lay it down. Pull it as tight as you possibly can. And then knot it one more time. sure all my pieces are facing forward okay and again if they don't come out even then that's okay just cut them off evenly I have a little right bow okay we're gonna take the little bows and put those off to the side for right now okay the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make a knot in that you make a loop and then you pull your loop through like this and pull tight. You'll get a little knot, like a loop knot. That's actually gonna be where you're gonna hang it from. So we need two of those, but we're gonna just use one for right now. From there, you're gonna put that on a ruler and I'm gonna measure out about three feet. So I'm gonna cut my, my string. Okay. After you've got that done, you can now start tying your denim. The pattern that I used on the one I made, I did six pieces of denim. So you, like if you've got two different colors, kind of mix them in there, maybe use three and three or four and two, just kind of give it a, a different look. And then when you get to there, you're gonna use one. And I cut five of these pieces of ribbon. So there's five six inch pieces of ribbon, one for each cute, uh, each um, close pin. If you're gonna use more, obviously cut more. If you're not gonna use as many, don't you don't have to cut as many. But I cut five of them, so I have my little ribbons there. Okay, so I'm gonna take and use that pattern that I said. I'm gonna use six. I just grabbed six different colored ones. You're gonna take and just tie it in a knot. Under, over, pull tight. On the, uh, on the bottom side of that knot. And you keep on doing it, you can alternate them. You can put, it doesn't have to be, per like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect, it is a rag. Um, it's called a rag garland. So you just pull it tight.
Linden, if you're using one. Okay, there's my six pieces. Take my one piece. And again, you're just going to tie it in a knot. Make sure I get the other piece through. Okay, so you have a little knot like that. This is where you're going to put your clothespin on. And you're just going to feed it through the hole in the middle of the wire. Let me get it a little bit closer. Let me get it through and I'll show you what. Okay, the little hole there, that's where you want your string through. Because that way if you need to move it, you know, when you hang it up or something like that, maybe it's not at the right angle, you can move this really easily. And then after that, you're going to put... Start another six or whatever pattern you're doing. And that holds your close pin on. Okay, now for the bows that we did ahead of time, just to kind of show you this, because I'm going to scooch them down just a smidge. You want a little bit there. Okay, my ribbons are over here. You're going to just take your bow, go on this side of the knot so that you have your loop still over on that side. You don't want the bow to fall off, so you want to go on the knot, um, the, the denim side. Again, tie it. And I'm doing this one three times, just because it holds it in a little bit better. And then this, now you can cut these off. Oops, I had it in my pile. Okay, so then you get this part of it. And you, you can keep on going. Um, just keep on going with all your different ones so you make a whole... Uh, line out of it like I did with this one and then once you get to the other end you do the same thing you take and make a little knot if you're using a bow you put your bow on the denim side of the knot if you're not using that that's fine too um, and then you can hang it up and hang your stuff or hang it up this way whatever way you want to do it again use the pockets to make it um, for storage, like I said, I put a little, little um, makeup brushes and stuff in it. They work really good. And you can use the pockets off cute jeans. I mean, you could get some blingy ones. I have lots of blingy ones. You can put pencils and pens and stuff in it. Use it by your desk. Um, if you like to do art, you could put your paint brushes and stuff in it. Maybe your um, markers and stuff like that. So you can kind of use a bunch of different things with that. And that would be how we use up our denim and then I use other pieces for other craft projects so I save all my denim pieces and I guess that's it we will talk with you later hopefully you'll have fun doing this another fun thing to do because we had say pray continually um, every time you tie a knot pray for somebody you know um, pray for the president pray for doctors and nurses pray for you can use it as a little prayer guide every time you tie a knot pray for somebody um, so you'll get your, you can get a lot of prayer in <laughs> and that'll comfort your, yourself and comfort your nerves. So, uh, I guess that's it for the project. I will close in prayer and I hope you guys have a good day. Dear Heavenly Father, we just ask that you be with these kids, Lord. Just help them have fun at this, uh, virtual spring break camp and help them to learn lots of fun things that they can do and, uh, New skills. New skills are always fun. And we just ask that you bless them and keep them, bless their families, and just help their um, them to stay healthy and uh, protect them from this virus, Lord. And we just pray this in your son, Jesus Christ, in his holy and precious name. Amen.